are you building a training course at the moment or an e-learning course and you're trying to come up with some assessment questions some quiz questions you know to test the knowledge you've got all the text but you just kind of well you're struggling you're thinking how do i put this into a nice quiz well the way to do it is to take advantage of chat gpt and put the data in there and ask the question now disclaimer chat gpt i don't know where the data goes okay so if this is confidential do not be putting that data in there if this is your company reports or you know something about a customer or anything even remotely confidential but don't put it in there okay that's a disclaimer because i don't know where the data goes it could be sitting in some you know country's cloud that you don't want it to sit in or something like that so you know this has got nothing to do with me this is your your decision to do this but i'll show you how to do it so I'm logged into ChatGPT. Um, if you used it before, you know, just just look it up. Just type in ChatGPT in, in the old Google, uh, and you get this one here: OpenAI introduction ChatGPT. Log in, sign up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway, do that. Once you're in here, what you want to do? You want to, as I always say, I always say hello. Be polite to the robots. Um, I would like to create a test. So I, oh, let's put it in there. Um, can you please create a, create three, let's go with three, three quiz questions from the following text. Now, you need to put the text in here because if I just press return, it's gonna come back and it's gonna ask me what are the, you know, what's the text? Or it will say, I am an AI model and I can't do that without the information. So what is the text? Well, the text is from here. So this is a you know, a course I'm throwing together. Conduct at work. Yeah, this is just sample data. It's not real data. Okay, so I've got some you know part of a part of a course here, and this is the text I want to use. But I want a quiz question or three quiz questions out of this. So I'm going to copy that. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to paste that in there. There you go. There it is. And look at this. Question one, da, 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 da. question two, da, 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 da. question three, da, 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 da. there we go. It's given me the questions. Now, the problem is I don't know what the right answer is. So um, please can you highlight the correct answers? There we go. So it's now telling me what the answers are. Because I've got this data then, I can then copy that data, click on that button there, or I can highlight it, however you want to do it. So copy that data and then paste it into Word, into PowerPoint, into my e-learning course, you know, Storyline, Rise, whatever I'm doing. And I've got the answer, well, I've got the questions. I've got all the answers as well. Let's try something else though. Um, let's say, please create three true or false questions from the above data. Let's see if this does it. There we go, look at this. Question one, true or false? Question two, true or false? Question three, true or false? And it's giving me the answer. True, false, false. There we go, I've just said you can do it from, from three um, because, well, I thought three was quite good. And also I'm not really using much data in the first place, so I just pasted that in. But that's how you can do it. It's very easy, copy and paste it in, you tell it what you want it to do, it'll give you some answers. Again, that has saved me a lot of time. Um, if I'm building training courses myself, I'm able to come up with questions most of the time, but sometimes the client might be saying, you know, we want 10 quiz questions. I'm just scratching my head going, I can't think of any more. I can't think of anything else to test them on. So there we go, chat GPT. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, I'll keep creating this type of content. Also, if you haven't already seen it, I've got playlists on how to use Google Sheets, how to use Articulate Storyline, Camtasia, Windows, and so forth. So like it, subscribe to it, thank you very much, and uh, keep asking those questions, and be careful with that confidential data.